Hi, this is Ahmad Awad, and in this video, I'm gonna focus on how to graph quadratic function, and also learn some vocabulary of the quadratic function. At the beginning, what is the quadratic function? It's a function of the second degree that can be written in the standard form y equal ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are real numbers, and a not equal to zero. The graph of the quadratic function is a curve called parabola that either opens upward if a is positive or downward if a is negative. The vertex of the quadratic function is a peak point of the parabola. The vertex is the lowest point when the parabola opens upward, while the vertex is the highest point when the parabola opens downward. And now, Let's define more vocabulary. From the graph of the parabola, determine the first vertex. By definition, the vertex is the lowest point if the parabola opens upward, or the highest point if the parabola opens downward. So in this case, we have a parabola opening up. So the vertex is the lowest point right here at x equal 1 and y equal negative 9. So the vertex is at 1 comma negative 9. Next, the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry of the quadratic function is a vertical line that divides the parabola into two equal halves, like that. and the axis of symmetry must always pass through the vertex. And for a vertical line that passes through x equal 1, simply the equation of the axis of symmetry is x equal 1. Next, y-intercept. The y-intercept is a point where the parabola intersects the y-axis. So in this case, the parabola intersect y-axis at negative 8. So the y-intercept is negative 8. Next, x-intercept. The x-intercepts are the points where the parabola intersect the x-axis. And in this case, the parabola intersects the x-axis at two points, negative 2 and 4. So the x-intercepts are negative 2, comma, 4. Next, domain. By definition, domain is a set of x where the function is defined. So, as we can see here, for this graph, any point on the parabola has a corresponding value on x, like this point, it's corresponding to 2, and this point corresponding to 3, and also the vertex, uh, negative 9, it's corresponding to 1, and on the other side, on the negative side, for this point, it's corresponding to negative 1, and this point corresponding to negative 2, and also the y-intercept, negative 8, it's corresponding to 0, so the function is defined for all positive and negative numbers and 0, and also in between negative 9 and negative 8, the function is defined in all decimal numbers between 1 and 2, and so on. So, we can say that the function is defined for all real numbers, and we can also say that there is no restrictions on the values of x for any quadratic function. So, x is belong to the set of real numbers, or we can say that that the domain of the quadratic function is the interval from negative infinity to positive infinity. Next, range. Also by definition, the range is a set of y values for which the function is defined. And as you see here, the parabola is open upward and the vertex represents the lowest value. So, 
the function is not defined on any value less than negative 9 or the range is the values of y greater than or equal negative 9. Moving to the last point, does this parabola has a minimum value or a maximum value? First, as you can see, our parabola again is opened upward and its vertex represents the lowest value. So, make it sense. It has a minimum value. And always, remember that the value of the function always refers to the y value. So, what is the y value here? The y value is negative 9. So, this function has a minimum value of negative 9. And now, pause this video for a minute and try to do it by yourself. And then, play it again and check your answer. Good job. Right, the vertex here at 4, 2. And the axis of symmetry, the vertical line that divides the parabola into two equal halves, it passes through x equal to, so the equation of the axis of symmetry is x equal to. And the y-intercept, the parabola intersects with the y-axis at the origin, so the y-intercept is zero. And also, the x-intercepts are the two points where the parabola cut the x-axis intersect at the origin point at x equal zero and at x equal four. So the x-intercepts are zero and four. And as I said, there's no distractions for the domain, so all the domain is all real numbers. And since the parabola is up and downward, and the vertex represents the highest point, so the function is defined for all the values less than 4, and it's include 4. And also since it's up and downward, and the vertex represents uh, a highest point for the function, so it has a maximum value at 4, so the maximum value is 4. Now, let's move to another point of our lesson. For graphing a quadratic function, you must first know the difference between y equal positive x square and y equal negative x square. If y equal positive x square, it means that the function or the parabola is open upward and have a minimum value. And if y equal negative x square, it represents a parabola open downward and have a maximum value. And both of them, the, the vertex at the origin. And to graph using the vertex form, which is fx or y equal a multiply x minus h all square plus k, where a indicate a reflection across the x-axis and or a vertical stretch or compression, and h indicate a horizontal translation, where k indicates a vertical translation. And using the vertex form, h and k represent the vertex, so the vertex of the parabola at h, comma k. And all remember that h is a value inside the parentheses and k outside. And now let's learn how to graph using the vertex form. So let's say if we have a function that looks like this, y equal x minus one all square. By comparing to the vertex form, which is y equal a multiply x minus h all square plus k, we can find that h equal 1 and k equal 0 because there is no number here outside the parentheses, which means this is the vertex of this parabola at the order pair 1, 0 here, 
which also mean that the parabola of this function translated one unit to the right for the parent function y equal x square. Now, we can graph using table by constructing a two-column table And remember, to center the table around the vertex, and choose two points to the right and two points to the left. So where the vertex is 1, 0, at the center here, I choose, for example, 0 and negative 1, 2, and 3. We can use another technique, but also the table. Yeah. y equal x square. That means that where x equal 1, y equal 1. 1, or 1 square equal 1, 2 square equal 4. What it means? It means on the graph, starting from the vertex, if you move one unit to the right, you must go one unit up. And if you go two units to the right, you go four units up. And also on the left side, if you move one unit to the left, you go one unit up. And if you move two units to the left, you go four units up. And here you can see the symmetry of the quadratic function. And by connecting this point by the U curve, we get the graph of the problem. Now, let's complete the table to check our answer. Where x equals 0, 0 minus 1, negative 1 square is 1. Where x equal negative 1, negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2 squares 4. And on the other side, we must get the same point. 2 minus 1 is 1 squares 1. 3 minus 1 is 2 squares 4. So we have a smitter here also. That's for the graphing. And now, let's identify another point of the graph. Starting by the x of symmetry. Simply, the axis of symmetry is the x coordinate of the vertex. So, the equation of the axis of symmetry is x equal 1. Y intercept. Is a point where the parabola intersects the y axis at here 1. And the x intercept. The point of intersection with the x axis here we have only one point at x equal one so it also one and since the parabola is of an upward and the vertex represent the lowest value of the function so it has a minimum value here represented by the y coordinate of the vertex where y equal zero and once we have this information, we can simply find the domain and the range. The domain for any quadratic function is the interval from negative infinity to infinity. And it represents the allowed x values, or the values of x that can be have in this function. x could be any value, there's no restrictions for x. And we can write it as x is belong to the set of real numbers. Now, the range. Since the parabola is open upward and the vertex represents the lowest value in this function, which is 0, so y values is started from 0 and go up to infinity. So, the range is all the values between 0 and infinity including 0, or we can write it as the inequality y is greater than or equal to 0, and this represents all the possible values of y. And now, you can try to do it yourself. You can graph the function of y equal negative x squared plus 4. Now again, pause the video and do it, and then play it again to check your answer. Good job. So again, starting by comparing the given function by the form of the vertex form 
y equal a x minus h all square plus k you can find that there is no value inside parentheses so the value of h is zero and the number outside is four so k is four this means that the vertex is zero comma four as you see here and as you graphed already so this is the vertex of the function and here I construct a table and I center the table around the vertex and choose two points on the left and two points on the right and get the corresponding value of y where x equal negative 2 I found that y equal 0 and where x equal negative 1 y equal 3 and this means if you move one unit to the left you go one unit down and if you go two units to the left you go four units down and on the other side where x equal 1 y equal 3 and where x equal 2 y equal 0 and that means if you go one unit to the right you go one down and if you go two units to the right you go four units down and the axis of symmetry you can get it from the vertex it's the x coordinate of the vertex x equal zero and y intercept at four it's the same the point of the vertex the parabola cuts the y axis at four so the y intersects four the x intercepts here we have two points of intersection with the x axis at negative 2 and positive 2 and since the parabola is open downward because here we have negative x squared and the vertex represent the maximum point which is 4 refers to the y coordinate of the vertex y equal 4 and I think it become easy for you now to determine domain and range for any quadratic function. Domain is all real numbers, the interval negative infinity to infinity, and the range starting from the minimum or maximum point. Here we have a maximum point, and all the values of y are the values less than four, including four. So it's y less than or equal four, or the interval negative infinity to and now what if the function is a standard form so let's say if we have the equation y equal x square plus 2x minus 8 and since we have here positive x square that means that the parabola will be open upward now is the time to find the vertex and to find the vertex you want to use the equation of x equal negative b over 2a what's a and b as we did with the vertex form we must compare the given function by the standard form which is y equal a x square plus b x plus c so a is the number beside x square and since there is no number here so the value of a is 1 and b is the coefficient or the number beside x which is here 2 and c is a constant term which is negative 8 now substitute by the value of b and a in this equation to find the x coordinate of the vertex so x equal negative b which is negative 2 over 2a 2 multiply positive 1 negative 2 by 2 is negative 1 so the x coordinate of the vertex is negative 1 now is the time to find the y coordinate of the vertex to find the y coordinate of the vertex we use the given function and replace x by negative 1 so y equal negative 1 all square plus 2 multiply negative 1 minus 8 negative 1 square negative 1 multiply itself positive 1 positive 2 multiply negative 1 negative 2 minus 8 so 1 minus 2 it's negative 1 minus 8 we get negative 9 
So the y coordinate of the vertex is negative 9. So by using the same technique and construct a table and center it by the vertex, negative 1 and negative 9 in the middle, and you choose two points on the left, negative 2 and negative 3, and two points on the right, 0 and 1, and find the corresponding values for y. So by calculation, where x equal negative 2, you can find that y equal negative 8, and where x equal negative 3, y equal negative 5. And symmetry, we get the corresponding value where x equal 0, y equal negative 8, and where x equal 1, y equal negative 5. And now, let's graph it. So let's start by the vertex. Negative 1, comma, negative 9. So starting from the origin, we go 1 left and 9 down. I'm going to be here. And on the left side, negative 2, comma, negative 8. So go 2 to the left and 8 down. And negative 3, negative 5. So it's a 3 to the left and 5 down. And on the right side, the reflection of this point. So it's going to be here. And the reflection of this point is going to be there. Now we can graph. We have the vertex, the y-intercept, but to make your graph more accurate, we need to find the x-intercepts, which are the values of x where y equals 0. One of the techniques to find the x-intercepts is to solve this equation algebraically. By replacing y by 0, we will get x squared plus 2x minus 8 equal 0. We can solve it by factorization or by the quadratic formula, but I think it's easy here to solve it by factorization. This expression is factorized as the product of x minus 2 and x plus 4. So this means that the two solution of this equation is x equal positive 2 or x equal negative 4 x equal 2 and x equal negative 4 are the two point of intersection at the x-axis. Let's now put it x equal 2 from the origin at here and negative 4 here. Now become easy to graph the function. That's it. So now the vertex, we get it negative 1, comma, negative 9, and um, x intercepts at 2 and negative 4, y intercept at negative 8. And for the axis of symmetry, we can simply find it by the x-coordinate of the vertex. So the axis of symmetry is at x equal negative 1. And also, since the coefficient of x squared is positive, and the parabola is open upward, so the vertex represents the least value for this function. So this function has a minimum value equals to the y coordinate of the vertex. So it's a minimum value at negative 9 here. Finally, the domain and the range. The domain again and again and again for any quadratic function is the interval from negative infinity to positive infinity. Any quadratic function is defined for all real numbers. And for the range, 
since the function has a minimum value and go up so y is all the values greater than or equal this minimum value so y greater than or equal negative 9 or we can express it using the interval from negative 9 including negative 9 to positive infinity now go ahead and try this one And now, as we did before, pause the video, do it by yourself, and then check your answer with me. Good job again. So, as you did, you start by finding the value of A, B, and C. A equal 1, P equal 2, and C equal negative 3. And use the equation x equal negative B over 2A to find the x coordinate of the vertex which is negative 1 and then substitute in the equation by the value of x negative 1 to find the value of y of the vertex which is negative 4 so the vertex is negative 1 comma negative 4 and then to find the x intercepts I replace y by 0 to find the value of x and solve the equation algebraically I get x equal negative 3 and x equal positive 1 and then I construct a table here using the vertex and the x-intercepts and two other points. And on the graph here, you can see the vertex, negative 1, negative 4, and the y-intercept at negative 3, and the x-intercepts at 1 and negative 3. And the x of symmetry, the vertical line, that passes through the vertex at x equal negative 1 so the equation of the axis of symmetry x equal negative 1 and since the value of a here is positive so the parabola is opened upward and it has a minimum value at negative 4 and finally domain and the range the domain always all real numbers from negative to positive infinity and the range is a y value greater than or equal negative 4 or the interval from negative 4 to infinity including negative 4 and now by the end of this video you master the important part of quadratic function and you know how to find the x and y intercepts the x of symmetry and you also know how to find domain and range maximum and minimum values so Thank you for watching and have a good day.